Here's a quick guide on how to change a 40-40 RO membrane. First of all, we need to loosen off these two silver brackets at the end. Um, I've already loosened them off using a couple of tools, so I'll just do it hand tight now. And when these go back on, we need to make sure that they go over the black plastic end caps. So for now, I'll just whip those off. And then we take off the waste pipe and the other pipe. I'm gonna use a tool to do that. Just press down and they come out on the John Guest fitting nice and easily. The end cap needs to come off. There's a little area here where we can put in a screwdriver or this little tool to loosen it off. And then it should come off nice and easily by hand. There might be some waste water that comes out of there. Other end, same, push it in and the John Guest fitting comes out. Nice and easy on that one. And then same, twist and then that comes out. Watch out for the water. Now the membrane's inside, we need to push it out. It pushes out from this end. Make sure you don't pull it out from there. Push it out and then grab hold and we can replace it. When you're popping back in a new one, make sure you follow the arrow. The arrow is in the direction of the flow. It needs to go in when you put a fresh one in, in that way with a fresh new membrane. Pop this on. This goes at the bottom, down, so make sure you get that one down and then the waste valve goes in, waste pipe goes in there and then that one goes in the top. They just push in, no need to use a tool for that. And then the same, this end. There's only one here, we've got a blank. And then this push fits in there. Replace these, remembering to put them over the black. And then secure with a bolt with a 13 mil nut and bolt. Now it's really important that we tighten up these properly because 120 psi goes through this, it's under pressure all the time so it's really important that we tighten these up. Pop this on here, making sure it's over the plastic. We'll tighten these up, we're good to go.